Hey there, I'm the Holder, and welcome to Naruto Reacts. In this, we're reacting to The Legend of Vox Machina, Season 1, Episode 6. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. The Eastern Faction was wiped out by giants. Then we need to make our next move. What's this, Attack on Tyne? She'll be hard to extract. It is the giants. I swear, if the roof gets ripped off and one of them is in. They have us. This is screaming Attack on Titan. Even though that's, that's not an original idea. idea. Oh, your guys, they're not even eating you. They're just squishing you. Okay, so they do eat them too. Gonna have fun burning you off my balls. Bill? Dead Raven Crow? Uh oh. <sighs> You're playing with a dead bird. Are you crazy? Out of the streets! Hide! <laughs> the lean over. Ew, they're like zombie troll giants. Grok, you're part giant. Can you vouch for us? Oh, what? Because we all fucking know each other? Well. <laughs> it's like, uh, it's like, oh yeah, all you giants know each other, right? It's like, yeah, like you humans do too. Brywood's a dicks. Perhaps Watch your language around the children, Grog. Yenin is the only one who can help bring it. Well, if you put it that way. Violence doesn't burn away the clouds. It only makes more smoke. Have faith. And she's no. She's. Why do I feel like she's only saying this because the guards were watching? And soon we will bask in its glory together. We hope. <laughs> no offense, Percy, but you're a titty bit too little to lead. Wait. If he's little, then what the fudge is Scanlan? <laughs> you have a height requirement? Uh, obviously. Well, um, we're all sort of co leaders. <laughs> all right, you guys. We're clear. I would think a whistle would be kind of obvious. Hey, versus like hand gestures. This place kind of looks like shit. Looks can be deceiving. We're gonna have a whole tavern on a ground city. No, it's uh, it's shitty on the inside, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's still shit. <laughs> Grog. Where's the rum gone? Including ale. I will fucking murder everyone! You're not the only one who has changed, Percival. Can you hear oh, so me? Oh, his brother? I'm Keyleth of the Ashari. You can't take He's trying to talk to that big tree. Alone. The worst idea we've had. <laughs> But the tree. At the moment, our holy person is elsewhere. Uh huh. She's on her own spiritual journey. Hear me. Burn in holy fire. <laughs> Jeez. It's not a curse. It's me. Mm hmm. Own her own doubt. Oh. He's as serious as they come. Oh dear. Right? To be most disagreeable. Oh please, please. Ah! Oh! oh god, ill. Grog, give me that. He's being held here. Is he about to eat a cork? So here's my idea how to bust Archie. Out. Kill. I'll speak to the local animals. They'll fetch the. I'm sorry, seeing this kind of doodle, cutesy, goofy art style for the. <laughs> oh. Jailer's keys and free our friends. Eh, not so fast, fair oh, what's your style gonna be, Scanlan? Scanlan the okay, no. Okay, this is just the style good. I infiltrate the prison or no, I've been kind of funny to see if each one had their own style. Yet, of course, he's got a freaking bulge in his pants. <laughs> oh. They make me a. Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, one man. Really, you have an old man in your art, man, a cat girl, man. Scanlan, you okay, buddy? And all we're gonna do is 
Grog looks un like. Why does Grog look all serious and stuff when he's like the opposite most of the time? Uh, what about Archie? Hey, Grog. Oh yeah. Kill him too. <laughs> kill him too. <laughs> Those were bad ideas, and you should all feel bad. <laughs> Those were bad ideas, and y'all should feel bad. Uh, I think I've heard that before, but like a different thing. It's like something bad, and you're all bad. Like, I don't remember where it was. I don't know. If I wanted him dead, I would have got a giant to stump his head. Breaking. Hey, that rhymed. Nothing but bad news. For the enemy. Okay, this is how it's going. Is that Mary Poppins' bag? Dumb. Has splitting the party ever worked? Uh, since shut the fuck up. <laughs> since shut the up. Okay, fair counterpoint. <laughs> fair counterpoint. Oh. Uh, you. Strut your stuff. Oh, Knock their heads. Oh, darn it. I've almost got shit. Oh, wait, I've got enough toxic. I think there's one thing I love about this series is the comedy on like scenes that you expect to typically go one way where he's like unlocking and you think, oh, he's going to do it. And then he's like, I think I've got shit. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh God. <laughs> this is like, I like the comedy in this series. Fuck. Are you kidding me? Fuck. Well, that was the last two lock picks he had in his inventory. Got to go kill something and steal the, steal one from them. Fine. It's like, oh, fine. If we have to save them. Everyone's getting out early for bad behavior. <laughs> oh my god, you too. Ow! It's not a door. It's a thing of evil. It's a thing I of evil. Going to find a window. <laughs> Are they gonna really still keep block picking while everyone else getting in, in their own way? Someone's coming. Someone's uh We came. We came to live, so can you like not? But here's your chance. Yeah, go fight now. Hold on, don't get us caught, Scanlan. No. no. Really, you two are having a slap fight. <laughs> oh my god. Bravo. Percy. You three are doing it magnificent. You could have just knocked. I don't want to know what that liquid was. I really, please don't, don't elaborate on it. Just leave it as mystery fluid. Good. Good. Don't ever, yeah, don't, just don't mention it again. Watch one of them comment that they really smell. Picked it up along the way. Why are you covered in piss? Oh, it was piss. Ew. Well, I thought maybe throw up, but ugh. Actually, both would be horrible. Picked it up along the way. Also picked up along the way. Huh? I'm telling you that back door was cursed. <laughs> it had a curse place on it. Is this the afterlife? We're not dead yet. No, not a curse, and an enchantment. Uh oh. It's gonna be the big tall guy, isn't it? Mr. Serious. Oh, no, it's him. Uh oh. Scallon! And maybe I'll let you live. Maybe. The keyword. What's a guy gotta do to get some action around here? Huh? Scanlan? Oh, it's magic. Don't just stand there. Get him. Well, there goes your uh your uh what do they call it? Leverage? Yeah, there goes your leverage, so all of you can attack now. For Whitestone! For Whitestone! <laughs> wow. Well, they're just fodder to them. Or him. Uh, you guys are kind of winning, but also not. I've got you, little one. Is she gonna die? He's gonna die. Oh. No! Oh. Oh, music changed too. Keyleth, mad. Saber tooth, Keyleth. Grog. Uh, what if he fights better when, when he's drunk? That's <laughs> no, noisy, man. Check this out. You just zipped him. 
They need to get this guy. He's got someone to kill. We'll get him. Should you really let the one that's injured like that go? Hurry, brother. Oh, the music. Are you gonna go Reaper? Oh, he's going Plague Mask. I wonder if he's almost like is becoming not becoming, but I wonder if he is like a Reaper where each bullet has is like got the name and it's gonna claim their soul or something. I'm not gonna lie, with the mask and the smoke and everything, and it almost being like a pistol shotgun, it kind of he kind of reminds me of Reaper from Overwatch. I am vengeance for the Dirolos. Okay, Batman. The Dirolos. Now that I am the knight. One shot. I wasn't meant to hit you. I wanted you to know it was me. I, I think he's dead, Percy. Oh. Is his powers tied to the gun? So, with each one's name he has on the barrel that he kills, it name disappears. I wonder if once he's killed all the name, once he, all the names have been wiped from the gun, I wonder if that means he loses his powers. Or could it kill him? I wonder if that's something that actually is like a double-edged sword where it gives him the powers to enact his vengeance but it'll kill him in the end when he does the last one i wonder will we have to spare the last one of them mm. Possible. friend i am the sole surviving Dorolo. i will have my vengeance you look a little angry there person no will stand in my way but okay Percy, you are not the last Dorolo. what your sister cassandra she's alive she lives. Where is she? Boy, sorry, we're late. We had a thing. We had a thing. Grog. Boom. <laughs> the whole place went up in flames. I have a sister. I mean, oh, uh, is that her? Sandra. Yep. Mm, changes something for her. Hmm. I really like how they like, for the end credits, they'll take like backgrounds and stuff that had characters during the episode, but then they like just make them pl like regular backgrounds. Just the backgrounds themselves. Chirp. <laughs> I've got that down too well now. All right, uh, anyway, let me go into my thoughts. <laughs> okay, so this episode, um, so, I mean, Percy got his vengeance on one of the names on his gun. Uh, kind of sad that that one rebel, re uh, rebel that got her brain smashed in. Um, kind of hoping she would last a little longer because I kind of liked her character. But, uh, yeah, as soon as she, like, saved Scanlan and stuff, it was like, I got you, little one. I'm like, she's about to die. <laughs> um, but, yeah, interesting. I'm really curious with, per with Percy, like, what his deal is with his powers. I really feel like they're tied to that gun. And once he gets all the names erased, the powers will go away. Or he's going to die. Like, it, it's a trade kind of thing. Um, that or it's not. And it's it's just he'll lose the powers. Um, also, we find out his sister's still alive. So, I wonder what's going on with Cassandra. She doesn't look like she... I wonder if she was turned into a vampire or something. Almost like the Briars took her and raised her for their own, as her own. But then she said this changes. But then the uh, the wife, the Briarwood, or not Briarwood, yeah, Briar, the Briar wife, she said that this changes nothing. So I wonder if they made a deal or something. I don't know. Maybe the sister made a deal with them so they they wouldn't kill her. No, because they tried killing Percy earlier. So it's not like they. Eh, I mean, hmm. curious to see what it, that is about with the sister. Um. But yeah, overall, um, I plot was good. Uh, characters are great. I really, like I said before, I really like the comedy in this series. I think that's probably like one of my favorite things, honestly, is the comedy. Like, it's like I I know this is like based off of Dungeons and Dragons, or not based off, but this is like, yeah, I would say it's based off of a, a campaign from Dungeons and Dragons, which I'm not familiar with like really much at all. Um, but I can see like some of the nods probably to it, like the lockpicks not working on and probably inch 
enchanted door or he just sucked at it and then you know he's like oh, i'm out of lock picks for this and it's just like it reminds me of like in a dungeon and dragons game or in a game period where it's like once you use up your inventory of lock picks it's like oh <laughs> And then you got the, like, you got Percy trying to get in through a window and then falls out the way. Like, it just reminds me of stuff they, they do not. So, like, Dungeons & Dragons games or board games or video games kind of stuff. Um, but, yeah. Anyway, uh, like I was saying, the characters were great. Animation was great. Uh, music, I like how it changes up. It, it, like, it changes up, like, when Percy changed into his, like, Reaper form. And it became more, like, chorus and, like, oh, like, almost like a theat like Not cathedral, but, like, yeah, like an orchestra or a chorus, um, a choir, I mean. Um, and then you have Keyleth, who when she turned into her saber tooth form became much more like, um, almost, what would they call it? Um, not medieval, um, folk, folksy music, more so? I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, I like how they change up the music for like their specific powers kind of thing. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, those are my thoughts for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. If you like early access to my full and edit reactions, go join my Patreon. I'll put a link to it up in the corner over here. Uh, but yeah, anyway, have a wonderful morning, afternight, and keep bringing bright. See ya!